This has got to be one of the coolest looking Nokias. This is the 7260. Comes in purple and chrome with the camera on the back. It's also got the like maroon style colouring on the sides there. I think this is one beautiful looking phone for its time. It's even got the lanyard attachment there as well. If you remember back in the 90s, uh, 2000s, people used to wear phones around the neck, which was, you know, a bizarre concept because of how large phones have got. But this is the size that they were back in the day. And this is the type of phone that was regarded as one of the premium phones of its time. Uh, it's got basic functionality, you know, you can change your themes and things of that nature. Yeah, I, I don't think... I would use this phone for anything but its aesthetics, just the way it looks, the, the feel to it, how the design of the keypad is. And, you know, it's quite unconventional for its time. Nokia released so many different handsets um, and so many different designs. The only downside that they had was the software, where the software was just a mess as they went from the original uh, software, such as the one that they've got on there now, and then going to the Symbian and then going to Windows and you know, progressively not going anywhere with it. So these are the actual phones that I like because they have that nostalgic vibe to them. They look cool. They perform as they would do as when you bought them brand new. So it's even got a bottom lanyard there as well. So you can either have it at the top or the bottom, which was quite interesting. Um, and it does come with an actual removable battery. So once we get the case off there, you can take a look. If this battery is no longer of any good to anyone, you can just dispose of that correctly and then buy another battery for it. So it'll just be like brand new because the basic firmware that it came with was pretty decent. It just does the job, makes phone calls and send texts. So yeah, would you buy this phone? I definitely would.